Hey old soul, just over a year ago I sold everything I owned in Australia and moved with my ex-husband and three kids to this beautiful land of Bali. Now I travel first class around the world teaching people how to manifest their dream life. If you are ready to step into a paradigm that's so wild, so freeing, so abundant, then you're exactly where you need to be. Welcome. Good, good, good morning. Good morning. Good morning from sunny Bali. Oh, I'm just getting my comfortable, comfortable spot on my deck over here. Hoping that my house is so big that I've got a few internet. So hoping that my internet stays the same and it looks like it is. Awesome. Hopefully you guys can hear me. Oh my goodness, my goodness. I spent most of yesterday. Was it yesterday? No, day before yesterday in the air. In the air, flying high above the sky. And wow, I just want to remind you that nothing in this life actually matters you're gonna die and it's gonna feel like you woke up from a dream and we put so much obsession over the 3d like that's what they want you to do they want you to be obsessed about the reality that you don't have but the truth is that when you close your eyes and you can see it in your mind's eye you're already your soul you're living out the way that your soul lives and the thing that we get stuck in so deeply as humans is that we think we have to be something else to have the thing that we desire. This beautiful universe with so many quantum particles doesn't say you have to change anything at all to live a different life. Like you can manifest a million dollars right now. The reason you don't have the life that you completely and utterly desire is because you think that you have to be something other than who you are now to manifest the thing that you desire. You think that it has to be different. You think that you have to work to get the thing. You think that you've got to do something in order to get the thing. But if we just get rid of that idea, that ideology that we have to be something, that we have to prove something, that we need to work harder or we need to sell something, like we, 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 we get rid of that step we take back our power and we start realizing that nothing really matters. You are that powerful. The second that you see it in your mind, it's manifested. The second that you see it in your mind, it is already manifested. Can you guys hear me? It just said slow connection. The second that you see it in your mind, it's already done. You've manifested it. The only thing you actually have to do as a soul is just go, yeah, it's done. It's done. I can go to the beach right now and do what I desire and it's done. I turn up because there's this piece in me that really wants to help other people have this beautiful effortless life, this life where you can go to the beach and have fun and do the things that you love doing and live in a different country or have your dream partner or just live limitlessly. You don't need to live in this constricted like a jail cell paradigm where you think you can't do the thing because you don't have the money you can't live this way because you don't have the money we've been conditioned for so many years that we can't live our dream lives until we have x amount of money we can't have this until we have that and it's just all bullshit none of it's real you can go to the beach right now and live your dream life by putting your arms out to the sunshine and just going i get to have it all and more it gets to be perfect. It gets to be freeing. There is nothing that is stopping you from living out your dream life right now, but a program in your head, which never came from you. It never, ever, ever came from you. It came from the system, from parents, just being passed down. It's not yours. You get to be a millionaire right now. If you can close your eyes right now in this moment and you can see a million dollars in your bank account, it is done. It is a thousand percent done. You've just manifested it. This is the law of assumption. It's done. You've just manifested it. The problem is that we give this 3D reality more purpose, more substance, because we think that our senses are more real than our inner power. We think that our senses are more real than our inner power, but when you close your eyes, that's when you can actually see. This reality is old news. This reality is dense. It is a dense shadow cast from somebody that you were days, weeks, months ago. And yes, there's things that we manifest instantly. The things that are the least resistant to us will manifest instantaneously, very, very quickly, very, very easily. But the reality is that this 3D reality is a shadow that is old news. And the reason that we get stuck is that we give this reality more 
power, more purpose, more substance than the thoughts in our mind. If you can go somewhere in your mind right now and you can close your eyes and you can see everything and then you just go, it's done. It's already done because I've already manifested it in my mind because I am that powerful. The problem is that we don't think we're that powerful. We don't think we're that powerful. We are looking at this reality going, oh, things aren't working for us. And that's like, yeah, they're not working. That's how powerful you are. You say it, it's done. But this is old news. So take back your power by stop getting stuck in the 3D reality. Stop getting stuck in the illusion. So if you're looking at your bank account, and you're like, oh, I don't like this. Go, cool, yeah. Past version of me manifested this. And that's okay. And I love that. And I love that I'm that powerful. And I love that a past version of me manifested this. But we don't give energy to the things that we don't desire more of. If you don't like something, don't give it energy. It's really, really that simple. But we've been conditioned with so many stories like, oh, you're being an avoidant, you're being delusional. Think of all the stories that are saying you're crazy if you live more in your mind than in your reality. We are souls having a human experience. We're not humans having a soul experience. And so when you get stuck in the 3D, you're saying that you are a human and you're not a soul. The soul is literally living out a dream so it can experience the 3D sensory uh, feelings. That's what we're here to do. We're here to experience the things that we're getting so stuck in it. Like ridiculously, your soul's like, wake up, wake up. It's meant to be fun. Oh my goodness, you're meant to laugh more. Why are you getting sucked into the seriousness of life? It's meant to be delicious and exotic and exciting and inspirational, but we're getting so sucked into the, oh, I can't be happy until I have this or I can't be happy until I have that. Everything is working out for you when you close your eyes and you can go to a place in your mind, you can see it in your hand. Once you've manifested it in your mind, you can hold it in your hand. It's 100%. And I'm a non-specific manifester. So like this beautiful house that you can see, and you can, I'll show you guys another day, but it is, it, I just envisioned a beautiful, beautiful white house. And this was so much more than anything I could ever envision. And the funny thing is that the view on the other side looks just like a placemat that I had growing up at my grandma's house when I was a kid and I was like wow I looked at that placemat so many times and I loved it so much and it brought me so much joy I didn't realize that 30 years down the track I would manifest a house I had the exact view of the placemat and it was crazy the thing is that everything's working out for you sometimes you get frustrated because you ask the universe for a family and your friend will have a family. And the universe is like, yes, you asked for a family. You weren't specific enough. You weren't clear enough. So the universe gave you a family, but it wasn't yours, it was your friend's family. And so you have to get clear, you have to get specific. You have to know what you desire and you avoid everything that you don't desire. It's like me right now with this whole calling in my dream man. If there is somebody that is not of the caliber that I desire, I won't even give them attention. And it's not me being horrible or delusional. It's just that this reality is a mirror of you. Everything you're seeing right now is a mirror of you. Everything is you pushed out. You will never be able to truly see someone past the perception that you see yourself. It's impossible. And so start enjoying life. Start realizing that if you can close your eyes and go somewhere in two seconds, it's already manifested. It's already done. You're so beautiful. You're so powerful. Everything's absolutely working out for you. Don't give away your power. You have more power in the tiny pinky than this whole 3D reality actually holds. This reality is a shadow of you. That's how powerful you are. It's your shadow. And the more that you can start realizing that it's your shadow, you are the one that's created this shadow, the more you can stop getting stuck in the shadow because you can't change the shadow. But you can change the shape that makes the shadow. And that shape, my love, is you. So step into that, embody that, really just relish in that, in all that you are. And if you really, really, really feel the call to go to the next level, you feel the call to go deeper, then definitely click on the link below because I invite you to come join me here in Bali. It's kind of interesting actually because, oh my gosh, it cut out. Hope you guys can hear me. I'll be short, sweet to finish off, but it feels like they're on different frequencies and I can barely talk to people when they change into a different country because the ley lines on the earth here in Bali are so wild, they're so potent, they're so powerful. So if you feel the call to come join me in Bali and change your entire life and just literally shift timelines because the timeline that your soul, hey Kayla, how are you beautiful lady? The timeline that your soul is calling for you to be on is waiting for you right now it's lit up it's beneath your feet 
it is waiting for you. It's calling you. It's ready for you to step in, to lean in, to move to the next direction. But it's not, <clears throat> it's not comfortable. It's not easy. If you feel the call to do something that makes you feel completely and utterly uncomfortable, because everything's going to come up. You go, I can't take time off work. I don't have this. I don't have that. My family will be pissed off at me. It really doesn't matter. Any story in your head, you have to delete. And you just have to go, does my soul feel called to do this? And if your soul feels called to do it, just do it. Now, really quickly before I let you go, how do you know if the universe is testing you or not? Well, the universe is constantly going to give you the same event, same situation, same circumstance over and over and over and over again until you change and embody a different version of you to shadow out a different version of reality. And so some people say the universe doesn't test you and that's totally fine. You don't have to say it tests you. That's just another story that we can create to understand the universe better. But the reality is that you have an electromagnetic field and the electromagnetic field is what's casting the shadow. And in order to cast a different shadow, you must change the reality. So if you desire a different timeline, if you desire a different frequency, the universe will give you the same event, the same scenario, and you must observe that in a different way. You must embody, you must take action in a different way that you wouldn't in the past. So in the past, if you always have someone that's really, really mean to you and you always lose your cool and you yell at them and you get frustrated with them, then the universe will give you the same situation again. And when you can, embody a level of calmness and serenity and peace and just observe without hating the person or getting frustrated the universe is saying congratulations you have passed the level and gone to the next timeline you've passed this version of reality and you get to step into a new timeline and of course my battery right now is 77 percent, so this is full confirmation from the universe but i'm here to remind you that you're exactly where you need to be. This is the year of the eight. Everything's going to be great. You're going to make many new mates. You're going to just graduate <laughs> and live the best life. So I truly hope that this has made sense today. If you're just watching this bit now, go back and watch the first video that I posted that got cut off by God knows what. Everything's always working out for me. Everything is always going my way. This life is so beautiful. Got all these beautiful birds. I've got like a cow hanging out over there. I don't know if you can see the cow. And see like these beautiful barley fields like living in Bali truly is just a dream beyond a dream beyond a dream I hope you have the best most phenomenal most magical day if you're feeling called to go to the next level definitely check out my limitless world memberships only 88 dollars a month completely and utterly change your life but if you do really want to go deeper you want to come oh my gosh the women and the people that are coming to this retreat are just next level if you're ready to make new friends you're ready to shift into new timelines new frequencies ready to like give me the biggest hug on the entire universe and break through and collapse old patterns and step into the timeline of your dharma and this limitless world where you just wake up and you know that everything is working out for you and there's nothing you need to fear there's no ego egoic story that's holding you back and holding you hostage it's just everything gets to work out and the better it gets the better it gets the better it gets the better it gets and life is just this constant flow of 24 7 miracles if you're ready for that timeline you may not be ready for it yet but if you know that this is the year where you get to step into that timeline please come and join me it will change your entire life money is just energy when you become successful it doesn't take anything away from the world the world just becomes this most beautiful most magical most incredible place Oh my gosh, it cut out. Hope you guys can hear me. I'll be short, sweet to finish off. But it feels like they're on different frequencies and I can barely talk to people when they change into a different country because the ley lines on the earth here in Bali are so wild. They're so potent. They're so powerful. So if you feel the call to come join me in Bali and change your entire life and just literally shift timelines because the timeline that your soul... Hey, Kayla, how are you, beautiful lady? The timeline that your soul is calling for you to be on, is waiting for you right now. It's lit up, it's beneath your feet. It is waiting for you, it's calling you, it's ready for you to step in, to lean in, to move to the next direction, but it's not, <clears throat> it's not comfortable, it's not easy. If you feel the call to do something that makes you feel completely and utterly uncomfortable, because everything's gonna come up. You go, I can't take time off work. I don't have this, I don't have that. My family will be pissed off at me. It really doesn't matter. Any story in your head, you have to delete and you just have to go, does my soul feel called to do this? And if your soul feels called to do it, just do it. Now, really quickly before I let you go, how do you know if the universe is testing you or not? 
Well, the universe is constantly going to give you the same event, same situation, same circumstance over and over and over and over again until you change and embody a different version of you to shadow out a different version of reality. And so some people say the universe doesn't test you and that's totally fine. You don't have to say it tests you. That's just another story that we can create to understand the universe better. But the reality is that you have an electromagnetic field and the electromagnetic field is what's casting the shadow. And in order to cast a different shadow, you must change the reality. So if you desire a different timeline, if you desire a different frequency, the universe will give you the same event, the same scenario, and you must observe that in a different way. You must embody, you must take action in a different way that you would in the past. So in the past, if you always have someone that's really, really mean to you, and you always lose your cool and you yell at them and you get frustrated with them, then the universe will give you the same situation again. And when you can, embody a level of calmness and serenity and peace and just observe without hating the person or getting frustrated the universe is saying congratulations you have passed the level and gone to the next timeline you've passed this version of reality and you get to step into a new timeline and of course my battery right now is 77 percent, so this is full confirmation from the universe but i'm here to remind you that you're exactly where you need to be. This is the year of the eight. Everything's going to be great. You're going to make many new mates. You're going to just graduate <laughs> and live the best life. So I truly hope that this has made sense today. If you're just watching this bit now, go back and watch the first video that I posted that got cut off by God knows what. Everything's always working out for me. Everything is always going my way. This life is so beautiful. Got all these beautiful birds. I've got like a cow hanging out over there. I don't know if you can see the cow. And see like these beautiful Bali fields like living in Bali truly is just a dream beyond a dream beyond a dream I hope you have the best most phenomenal most magical day if you're feeling called to go to the next level definitely check out my limitless world memberships only 88 dollars a month and really not only change your life but if you do really want to go deeper you want to come oh my gosh the women and the people that are coming to this retreat are just next level if you're ready to make new friends you're ready to shift into new timelines new frequencies ready to like give me the biggest hug on the entire universe and break through and collapse old patterns and step into the timeline of your dharma and this limitless world where you just wake up and you know that everything is working out for you and there's nothing you need to fear there's no ego egoic story that's holding you back and holding you hostage it's just everything gets to work out and the better it gets the better it gets the better it gets the better it gets and life is just this constant flow of 24 7 miracles if you're ready for that timeline you may not be ready for it yet but if you know that this is the year where you get to step into that timeline please come and join me it will change your entire life money is just energy when you become successful it doesn't take anything away from the world the world just becomes this most beautiful most magical most incredible place have the most beautiful day. I love you. I see you. Big love, old soul. Mwah.